scientist could turn people into human power plants. The flow of blood could be harnessed by fiber-shaped fluid nanogenerators. To produce electricity, Fuban University researchers were successful in applying the device on frogs. This could pave the way for future applications like powering implanted devices in the human body. A nanoscale hydroplant plant is in the works and if everything goes according to plan, it could allow humans to generate electricity that's strong enough as a power source. The device is so small that it could fit inside the blood vessel and harness the power of flowing blood, just like how a large hydroelectric power plant generates electricity from falling or flowing water. This device was developed by Chinese scientists from Shanghai-based Fudan University, led by Hui Sheng Peng. The nano generator, nanoscale generator, is made from carbon nanotubes that are spun and aligned into sheets. The sheets are then wrapped around a polymeric core to make a thin thread that has a thickness of less than one micron. The device has been called the fiber-shaped fluidic nanogenerator or FFNG by the team. This is how electricity is produced. The FFNG connected to electrodes is immersed in flowing water or repeatedly dipping in saline solution. An electrical double layer around the thread is created from the relative motion of FFNG and the surrounding liquid. The moving liquid then distorts the symmetry of the charge distribution to create an electrical gradient, the charge difference between the inner and the outer layer of the nanotube coating, along the long axis to consequently produce a current. In the lab, the amount of electricity generated by the FFNG was dependent on the length of the axis. Scientists were able to measure output that range from 7.7 .7 to 85.8 millivolts on threads that span 2 to 20 centimeters in length. The power energy conversion efficiency came in at 22.3 percent, higher than those of one-dimensional solar cells and one miniature energy harvesting device. Furthermore, FFNG's performance was maintained high for 1 million cycles of deformation. FFNG also boasts of other properties that are ideal for many applications. It is elastic, lightweight, one-dimensional, and can be turned. For instance, the threads can be woven into fabrics and used as a basis for wearable electronics. Unlike solar cells, it does not depend on the weather and can be used any time of the day. Like hydropower plants, FFNG can be a green source of energy as well. By definition, a nano generator is a nanoscale device that can convert mechanical or thermal energy into electricity. While most nano generators were built on harnessing changes in the environment, like sunlight, pressure, wind, FFNG is one of the few devices that targets the human body as a source of electricity. In 2010, Stevens Institute of Technology scientists reported a piezoelectric nano generator that could be put on the surface of a body to harness the push from flowing blood or peristaltic movements. The energy output, however, was too small for any practical use. One year later, in 2011, a Swiss team from Bern University of Applied Sciences was able to make a turbine that also could run on blood flow. The caveat, though, was that it caused blood clots and therefore was obviously not seen as viable alternative in terms of being placed inside a human body. FNG is still in its early stages of being developed, but scientists say that experiments with the device and plants into frogs have been successful. With further tweaks, the device could one day have the potential to be used in power plate pacemakers, body sensors, or other health monitors. Perhaps in the future the generator energy could be large enough that we won't even need to bring our power banks to charge our phones. And wouldn't that be convenient? Please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't. This is how YouTube works. I need the likes. Thank you.